2009 MacBook Pro DCN board replacement. Start off by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. To remove the logic board cover, remove the seven Phillips head screws starting at the top left and going all the way around the contour of the MacBook. Once you remove the seven Phillips head screws, now remove the three long Phillips head screws. Lift up and remove the logic board cover. Before you begin, disconnect the battery. Logic board removal. Begin by unscrewing the three Phillips head screws that are attaching the fan to the logic board. Lift up the fan and disconnect it. Put it on the side. Now disconnect the LBDS cable. Next, disconnect the keyboard backlight. Lift up on the latch and pull it out of its socket. Then the keyboard, lift up on that latch as well and pull it out. Next, the trackpad, then the DVD-ROM and the hard drive, then the EyeSight and the Wi-Fi cable. Next, the speaker. Once all the cables have been removed, go ahead and unscrew the seven screws that are holding in the logic board. These are Phillips head screws. Pry out the glued in microphone with tweezers. This might be a little difficult, but this is a very important step that cannot be skipped. Once the microphone is loose, uh, that's fine. Go ahead and lift up on the logic board pushing all the cables out of the way. Lift it in an angle. It's still connected to the DC inboard. Flip it over and disconnect the DC inboard. The logic board is now free. DC inboard removal. The DC inboard is secured with two Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove those screws and you can freely lift up the DC inboard. DC inboard reinstallation. Place the DC inboard in its socket. Secure it with two Phillips head screws. Logic board reinstallation. Reconnect the DC inboard first. Insert the logic board at an angle. The USB connections towards the chassis first. Move the cables out of the way and drop the logic board in. This will take some time as there are many cables in the way. Make sure to try to dig them out. Once the board is positioned, look over all the cables and make sure that nothing is trapped underneath. Go ahead and reconnect the seven logic board screws. Once the screws have been reconnected, reconnect the speaker, then the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive, then the hard drive. Next, the trackpad. Now reconnect the keyboard backlight. Make sure that the eyelash is up and insert it using tweezers. Push the eyelash down when you're done. Now the keyboard. This will take some practice and is sometimes difficult to do. Use tweezers to gently help you put in the keyboard.
once it's in, press down on the eyelash. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Make sure to push down on the lever to lock it in. Reattach the fan with three Phillips head screws. Now reconnect the fan to the logic board. Make sure that the microphone is in the correct position, otherwise the microphone quality might be in jeopardy. Reinstall the LVDS bracket on top of the microphone. Screw it in with two Phillips head screws. You can now reconnect the battery. Place the logic board cover back over the MacBook. Screw in the three long Phillips head screws first. Then starting in the top left, screw in the short screws. There are seven of these. Go around clockwise around the contour of the MacBook. Because the logic board was removed to replace the DCN board, we're going to have to perform an SMC and NVRAM resets.